Hey, good morning, Shane, Nicholas, and Chris, daughters, and a horde of, and growing horde of onlookers here at Catisfy. We're tying a series of uh, winter and summer steelhead flies, and these uh, are tied on the Alec Jackson series of flies, steelhead flies, steelhead fly hooks. And Alec, he makes steelhead irons, or has inspired yeah. and trademarked steelhead irons and steelhead spay fly hooks and heavy wire hooks. This happens to be just a regular old, regular old Alec Jack Jackson spay fly hook in a gold. Uh, you can substitute any of those. These are beautiful hooks. This particular fly is inspired by the traditional steelhead boss or the boss fly. I'm tying this with winter steelhead in mind. First I'm going to put a hint of uh, on this tail. A little edge of pearl crystal flash on both sides of the arctic fox. And again, arctic fox tail Arctic Fox body fur just doesn't work as well for this, sad to say. This, this, this is an unweighted fly. This is a fly in the spirit of traditional swinging flies. Uh, certainly fish this with tips, uh, but because it's not weighted, it won't... Um, won't go to the bottom in soft water, in uh, smooth, even flows, which can be really, really pleasant fishing. You can fish in the winter in modest depths with uh, modest tips, and your fly will sail at just the right speed across the tail out. This fly is one of the key characteristics is black and uh, fluorescent flame. So here we have those key features in this fly. I'm thickening up that body a little bit. It really is nice to swing these flies in the winter. There is a place for unweighted winter flies. And Jeff Hickman knows this really well. Jeff is a master, not the only one, but he's taught me a lot about swinging unweighted flies in modest flows in the winter, even in re really high water. Still, I'd like to live in that three foot deep water. So this is a black saddle hackle. Um, you can buy it strung. You can use schlappen. We have some great saddle patches that have zero waste. Every feather is perfect. Let me know where those are, please. Here's one right here. You know, I didn't, again, I didn't bring my fly tie glasses, so, you know, I'm kind of doing this by, at least half by feel. These hooks are so delightful in their form. The steelhead irons are a heavier wire hook. Um, I was pointing out to Chris the subtleties of the different shapes in some of these Alec Jackson hooks and he was orange arctic fox wing on this fly. I'm actually going to strip out a good part of the guard hairs and a lot of the under fur. This fly is going to have a nice bold appearance in the water. Arctic Fox, I know, I'm, if you've seen a lot of these videos, 
you probably are hearing, oh, Jay, I am tired of hearing about the virtues of Arctic Fox. And I, I know, I know, I apologize. But it is great stuff to work with. Compresses very securely. Wow, it's lined up just right. A couple of strands on that edge of the hook, a couple turns, doubled over, a couple strands on this side, trimmed to approximately the same length. Finish off that head. And now get ready. Not only do we have a nice looking head here, but we have a product called Clear Cure Goo. Chris gave me some of this to work with. This is the Hydro. It's fairly thin. And I just want a little tiny dab. And I'm going to put it kind of at the front of the thread wrap. And I'm going to spin this. And I'm going to turn on my Cure goo, goo curing lamp, and I'm you know, I only had to do it. Three yeah, times. you're done like I'm done. five minutes ago. Chris, going, I'll come and knock it off, you, But check out that beautiful, beautiful head. If you're using epoxy, you know, you'd shoot five, ten minutes doing that. There you go.